Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Early Aces with me, your host, Chromoid. And this time, we're going to be watching yet another one of the Losers Brackets uh, matches. We're getting through these pretty quickly, and we'll be soon back in the primary brackets. But for now, we're going to be watching uh, Team 1, which is Big Dicker and Molasses by Satire, facing off against the Sopwith Camel F1 by Sean Reed 343. Let me get rid of something real quick. There we go. And uh, not much else to say about these two, except for, as with everyone else in the secondary brackets, they have lost one match already in the primary brackets and are now fighting for a chance just to stay in the tournament. So the loser of this match goes home. And without other way, let's get this going in 3, 2, 1, fight. Sean Reed put up a very good fight against uh, Harness's double team entry, Blue Angel and Red Devil, uh, taking one match from them, actually. Uh, but was not able to ultimately beat them. This one seems to be going a little more in his favor, though, as the uh, Molasses charges straight into the massive barrage that the Sopwith Camel can field and disintegrates on the ground. That was a one-hit or a multi-hit KO. Oh, no, and Big Dicker goes into the, dream into the sand itself. Can it get itself back off the ground? No, it can't. It's collapsed. It looks like it uh, had a had a steering malfunction and plunged right into the ground. Although the Sopwith Camel has taken some damage, one of the guns has lost most of its uh, most. It looks like it's lost all of its um, what are they called? Gauge increasers. Oh, Camel getting really low. Oh, look at that. Uh, bigger Big Dicker is up in the air again. Managed to take off. Is not showing a lot of controlled flight, though. And I don't think the cannon is working in it anymore. So, in the interest of time, I am inclined to declare this a victory for Sean Reed in round one. Yeah, it's it's not controlled movement anymore from the big dicker. It's just, it's just spinning aimlessly. So, even if the Sopwith Camel somehow was to be eliminated, say it lost control and crashed into the ground or something, uh, this round will still go to Sean Reed's uh, entry as Big Dicker and Molasses have been effectively neutralized first. So, that is 1-0 for Sean Reed. Let's get the next one underway. I'm going to move around here. I'm not sure. I think I may supposed to be having music with this. Let me check real quick. Uh, I, I, I haven't made this as streamlined as it could have been, but basically people can have a they can have music playing if they want it. Uh, I think uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't think anyone had music for this submitted. All right, enough. Enough messing about by me. Let's get this next one underway. Three, two, one, fight. Sorry about that short delay. Big Dicker and Molasses taking off. Molasses actually having the majority of the materials invested in it. Um, so really, uh, really not good that that was the one that got eliminated first. Uh, Molasses is. I believe no. Molasses is the one back. He is the one that just hit the ground. Nope, that's that's Big Dicker. Big Dicker's the one that hit the ground. Um, Sean Reed's aircraft taking a little bit of damage. I think it's going to hit the ground as well. Ooh, yes, it does. Chops off quite a bit of its dead blades as well. Can it get back up after that crash? I don't know where. Oh, yeah, there's Molasses. Still, still up in the air. Can the camel get back up? Big Dicker is effectively neutralized, but the camel is also down. It seems to have taken critical damage either to a control surface or to its Deta Blades. And now that it's hit the ground, it's definitely not got enough Deta Blades to get itself back up in the air again. So yes, <laughs> in a very quick fashion, uh, Molasses has uh, won the next round. I'm going to find Molasses, figure out where it went. Where is that machine? I see Big Dicker. I do not see Molasses. I have I have com somehow completely misplaced an entire airplane, but uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Molasses has won uh, for Satire's team, and we're gonna get this started on the next one. That is weird. I have never seen a plane just disappear like that unless it went up in the air. Hmm. All right, mysteries for later. Oh, there it is. Nope. No, that's Big Dicker. I think. That's hard to tell. Well, we'll stop this nonsense and get on with the next one. Well, that's a one and one uh, match so far. Seems like both of these entries 
pretty much just one shot each other if they if they get a chance. So Matt, it really comes down to who gets t guns on target first. We're gonna find out who has the answer to that in this last round. Three, two, one, fight. I think uh, Big Dicker and Molasses have a little bit of a better advantage in that regard, in that they both can get around. Uh, one can take the front, one can take the back. They can kind of team up on the camel, although the camel can fire uh, fire in both directions, both forward and backwards. So, you know, there's a chance it could, you know, it could kill them both if they get lined up properly. But as you see, it, it's a bit of a slow and lumbering beast, and it can be really hard to uh, to get itself lined up. It does not have maneuverability on its side, whereas Big Dicker and Molasses are quite a bit more nimble. Molasses lining up another shot. Uh, just misses. No, it gets a little bit. Gets a little hit. I see the blocks falling now. Big Dicker swooping around, trying to get itself lined up. I get these aircraft confused all the time. I'm pretty sure the, that this one over here is the Big Dicker. It's just a few times I've actually zoomed in on it, it's pretty much missing most of its blocks by the time I get to it. Ooh, another big shot from the molasses. Chips off more of the wing of the Sopwith Camel, but neither aircraft is falling at this point. The last two rounds have been a blitz. Someone dies very quickly, just like that, and oh, that's unfortunate. The molasses was caught with its ass facing the Sopwith Camel, and all the dead blades are ripped off and a quick burst from the massive cannons on the front of the Sopwith Camel. And you see there, the blast cannons, if you get close to this aircraft, it does a lot more damage uh, than it does from far away. As you see, the, the, the blast cannons are kind of pitiful at range. You have to get really close for that to do anything. Shooting the fuselage does not seem to be doing well for the Molasses, or for the Big Dicker, which is the only remaining flying aircraft. The Sopwith Camel struggling with altitude control. That wing has taken heavy damage. Another shot from the Big Dicker takes off more of its left wing. You see the control surfaces there flaring, trying to get the thing back in, back in under control. It looks like the rudder and the tailplane are still okay. Ooh, another big chunk of blocks. There goes the, the pilot seat. Pilot snipe. <laughs> uh... Stop with Campbell coming around has a pretty good yaw on it. It, it turns, it turns, uh, it turns around pretty quickly. It just doesn't have the ability to roll, which, from what I've seen in the tournament so far, does severely mitigate your uh, ability to actually get on target. Um, entries that have roll on them tend to be faster. Oh no! And the big dicker looked like it was struggling already, but with that last shot, it definitely no longer has the ability to stay airloft or airborne. And I think that's clinched it, yeah. Uh, the Sopwith Camel, despite being pretty badly injured, has taken this match. So congratulations to Sean Reed. Your camel will be continuing on in the, in the secondary brackets. And Satire, I'm afraid this is where your entry stops. It was fun seeing them in action, but they go home now. So thank you both for participating. Thank you all for watching. I've been Chromoid, and I will see you guys in the next one.